Welcome to Eat, Pray, Plan. I'm Rebecca. I'm a wife, a mom to two adventurous boys, and I plan our lives one sticker at a time. In today's video, we're going to be planning the week of April 15th in my classic vertical planner, and I will give you one guess as to what sticker book we're going to be using. Ah! I know. I can't. I can't stop. So we're going to be using fun florals. So if you want to see more, come plan with me. Hi, it's me again. So in this video, like I mentioned before, we're gonna be using the farmhouse sticker book. We are also gonna be using one of my favorites, fun florals, and something from these three sticker books. So I've already sectioned, um, I've already like taken out from the books the stickers that I wanna use. This idea I learned from Allie, from According to Allie, and it has changed how I do my planning. So here I have chosen greens and these beautiful pink florals and this really great quote that says, I want to see what happens if I don't give up. So I also take out my pages from my planner. It just makes it easier for me to work with. And we're going to be planning the week of the 15th through the 21st in my classic happy planner. So when I plan, I usually already have an idea of where I want to place my stickers based on the activities that we have going on that week, but I always start with a quote in uh, one of the bottom corners. And this week I am placing it in the left side corner. I also like to add boxes and bo the boxes just kind of highlight the most important activities of the week. So at a glance, they just stand out more for me. I love using these tweezers. They are so, uh, they're so, they come in handy when you wanna place a sticker and just move it around and figure out where it would look best. So I use these tweezers all the time. I got them on Amazon and I get a few people uh, asking me where, uh, where they can find them. So I will post um, the link in the description box below. So the top section of my planner, it's usually homeschool activities or important events that I need to go to that day. So I am um, adding two little banners that say top priority and uh, today's focus and then of course the boxes because you can never have um, a spread without a box. I love cutting stickers. I feel that it just uh, gives you more stickers, obviously, but it just allows you to create like different dimensions when you're planning and in your spread. So, um, so here I am cutting this sticker and then I, I like to balance my pages out. I feel that, um, it works better like visually for me so I'm gonna place one cluster here and then another cluster on the other side of the page I don't like wasting stickers so I always find where to place them or I reuse them in a different spread so here um, I am trying to see where to place this sticker. I love using bullets. I usually use them in the middle row, which is uh, where I put my to-do lists. But here in this spread, I just felt that it took away from from the flowers, which I wanted it to be the main focus of the spread, so I decided to not use them in the middle. I'm going to place them on top to help highlight my uh, top priority and my focus for the day. I 
I love using this stencil. I use it either to make lines or to just um, space out my my lines, and it just um, it just helps me, you know, visually to kind of see where where the lines need to go. So here is where I'm gonna put my to-do list, and then I'm gonna check it off when I'm done. I didn't really like that weekend banner there and oh it ripped but it's okay we're gonna do some sticker surgery later I'm not gonna leave it there there the little black pieces of that flower just got in the way so we're gonna find another spot for that weekend banner but I am determined to use it. So here I am using this little, um, this other half of the flower and I need, I wanted a little bit of greenery so I just took a little leaf from another sticker and I'm gonna place it right there. Where should we put this little guy? There, perfect. So I wanted to use another quote on the other side and I loved the sparkle quote, but the colorful um, stars did not go with the spread. So I'm just gonna cut them off and I'm gonna place it right there, perfect. Don't be afraid to you know, make the stickers work for you and for your spread. You can definitely do sticker surgery. It's totally fine. You can never have too many flowers, so we're gonna put flowers here at the bottom. And I like to um, keep the flowers inside the box, so I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife and just trim the edges so they can just all fit in the box and not be, not be peeking out. So like I said before, I don't like to waste stickers, so I am just going to move this sticker over so I can add the other half of the sticker that I cut, and there you go. I'm still determined to figure out where to put these bullets, but I don't think the bottom row is it either, so I'm gonna take them off and see where else. Here, I think I'm gonna place them on the sidebar. So my sidebar, I leave it for things that I need to keep in mind the entire week and not forget. So I'm just gonna add this notes um, little banner and the bullets there. And I think that's the perfect place for them. I think this spread is coming together. It's almost, I think it's almost done. I just need to figure out where to put this weekend banner. And yeah, I'm gonna place it there, but it's gonna, it's gonna be a little tricky because I also need to place the little, the, the piece that tore off. And that's where these little um, tweezers come in handy. 
there. I think we finally found the spot for that weekend banner. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos like this and planning tips, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you next time.